Hello everyone, this is John from Civil Center. Welcome to our channel. As we know, Civil Center is continuously working with the vision to guide civil engineering student and professional. And for that, we keep making videos on different topics and on different software related to civil engineering field. So we have started this series on G plus one building design using Tecla structures. And in this series, we have already covered a lot of points like how you can modify the grid lines, how you can model the different structural members and how you can provide the reinforcement in footing, beam, column and panels. In this session, we are going to discuss how we are going to provide the reinforcement in slab. So there are basically three tricks that I'm just going to discuss in this session. And there are a few more, but that we will learn in another session. So you can stay tuned to this series. And guys, if you like this video, hit the like button, share it with your friends and colleagues and subscribe to our channel. Okay, so I'm just going to start. But before that, let's uh, learn about what are these three techniques through which we can provide the reinforcement and what we are going to discuss in this session okay so the first technique is we are going to provide the reinforcement using the mesh bars then we will go for the second application that is mesh bars by area and the third application will be of slab reinforcements so let's learn how we can use this so guys you can see this is where we are in the last session so in this one, we have provided the reinforcement in the panel. So I'm just going to switch it to the 3D view by hitting the control P on my keyboard. Now we can simply model a slab and that is very simple. And if you want to learn how you can model the other instruction members, then you can simply check out the description where you will find the link about how you can modify or you can say model the other instruction members. So like this, we have modeled our slab and now we are going to provide the reinforcement in this one. So we have to just go for the application box and there we have to look for mesh bars. Now, how to use the mesh bars that has been discussed already in detail in the previous session that is how to provide reinforcement in panels. So you can simply go ahead and check out our channels and you will see how you can provide the reinforcement in parallels using the mesh bars and what are the different modifications that you can do over here. So if you are going for the mesh bars, then you have to simply select this one and then you can simply come over here and click on the slab. Now, if you want to modify this bar, then you can simply double click on it and then it will open up a dialog box where you can modify each and everything about this bar. Okay, so you can see this is our mesh bar over here and you can modify anything in this. But how to do that? For that, we have already made a video on panel reinforcement. Just look for that in the channel of Civil Center and you will find it out. Okay, now we are going to model another slab and in that we will use another method of providing the reinforcement. So let's uh, model another slab over here and now we will provide the reinforcement by this option that is mesh bars by area. So for that, we will have to first define the area, like where we want to provide the reinforcement, like you want to provide the reinforcement in this pattern. Okay, first point, second point, third point, and the initial point. Okay, so like this, you want to provide the reinforcement. So you have selected not the whole slab, but just a portion of the slab and you can see this uh, like uh, reinforcement has been provided only in the area where you have provided the reinforcement or you can see where you have selected now if you want to modify it then you can simply do that so you can also double click on it and you can see what are the different reinforcement that has been provided over here for your convenience i will just read it out like over here we have the 27 reinforcement and all are spaced at 196.67 mm okay then we have this uh thickness over here so you can see the cover thickness over here is 25 on the all the sides and like that the reinforcement has been provided now if you want to change it then how you can change that okay so for that we will just create another view along the f okay so let's uh, do it so it will help you to just understand it in a better way so we can just uh, go to view list okay and from there we can open up another view that is 
E and F. So we have to look for that if. Okay. Now we can just zoom over here and here we can just see the reinforcement arrangement. Okay. So like if you want this arrangement, then you can go for this one. If you want to change this to this one, then you can also go like this. Okay. You have to simply double click on this one, close this, double click on this and let the dialog box open up. Okay. You can also press control one for your convenience. If you want that, then you can choose that. Okay. Now click on modify. So you can see here, you can see the modification. Okay. Now, like how it is happening. Okay. Now, if you want to just uh, see it from another view, then that can also be done. You can just go to like view list and from there, just look for grade three. Okay. Now zoom it over here. Now choose another option and click on modify. You can see this has been changed. Okay. So like this, you can see we have different angles of viewing the bars, but I would like to keep it like this. So let's keep it like this. Okay. Modify. Now, if you want to change the area, then you can also change the cover. Okay. Like you want to provide a cover of 20 mm, then you can simply provide it like this 20 mm click on modify and you can see the cover has been changed. Okay. Then the next thing over here is mesh bar details. Now over here, we have this covered of 50 mm. If you want to change it, then you can again change it. Okay. Like you want to make it hundred, but for that, we will have to go to top view. So we will just go to top view over here and then we can just start looking for it. So let's change it to hundred and hundred. Now modify. Now, if you want to just uh, provide this whole mesh bar according to like, just go to the 3D and over here, you want to provide this mesh bar in the whole area, then how you can do that. So we also need to learn about that. So let's uh, go to the mesh bars by area. You can simply select the points one, two, three, four, five. And you can see here, you can provide the mesh bars using the area. Now just select the reinforcement, go to the top view. And from here, just to start noticing the points. Like I want to change this by say 200. Now modify. So you can see the cover has been changed to 200 now. Okay. So these are basically the same option as the miss bars. So whether you use the miss bars by area or you use the mesh bars in both the cases, you will get the same options. Okay. Now we have to just close this and we will go for the third method of giving the reinforcement and that is slab bars. Okay. So now we have modeled a slab. Let's press control four. Okay. So it has been modeled. Now we will look for slab bars over here or slab reinforcement. Okay. So this is your slab reinforcement tool and this is your slab bars. So you can also use this tool. You can simply choose the slab over here and clicking on it. So you can see it has provided the slab reinforcement over here. Now, what if you want to make some kind of change in it? then you will have to simply press the escape button, then just click on this slab bar. And from here, you can start making the changes. Like you want to change the cover, then you can simply change the cover like this. Okay. So I will just uh, switch it a little bit. Okay. Now you can see, suppose I'm making it 100 and modifying it. Then you can see this has been changed. Now I want to make it 20. So I will just make it 20. So this will be one cover that we have to provide. Then what about this distance? So you're going to also specify this distance or you can simply leave it and the software will decide it for you. Now, how 
you want to create the bars whether you want to create it on both sides or just the bottom side then it will create bars just on the bottom side if you want to create the bars on both the sides then you can go for both sides if you want bars on just the top side then you can simply select for the top side and it will create bars accordingly now i want it on both the sides so i will simply apply it and modify it okay now next thing is huge slab extraction or you can use for global extraction okay so like this you can simply just keep changing the directions also okay or if you want to go for the y direction then you can go for y direction but i would like to keep it the default one then the auto that means up direction like in the plus y minus y plus x minus x which direction do you want to switch it so you can also switch it in that direction okay so that's up to you how you want to switch the directions okay next thing that you can also modify over here is the bottom bars now what kind of bottom bars are present over here so in this section we have fe415 but we are not using that bar so we can just go for here like fe500 and let's change it to 10 mm dia bar okay then you can also specify the spacing to 200 okay so by exact spacing or by number of bars you can specify it in both the ways now if you want to change it again you can also change it for like bottom bars with different grade okay then the cover thickness so you want to make it 25 then make it 25 if you want to keep it 20 you can keep it 20 then how you want to generate the bars by mesh or by bar group so go for bar group over here now the crossbar locations do you want to keep it above or below so that can also be defined then over here if you want to provide some kind of cover then you can also do that like i've zoomed in over here and you can see the differences like i want to just provide it a cover of 25 mm on both the sides or you can say on all the sides and then click on modify and you can see this has been automatically shifted okay so this was about the bottom bar now let's go for the top bar the, but before that let's uh, look for the end conditions also at end condition do you want to keep it a straight default or you want to bend it for 135 degree or 180 degree whatever you want to do you can simply do it like this okay so in this lab mostly it is at uh, a straight distance so i will just leave it like this then comes the what is the bend length left so you can specify the bend length also and then end condition for this one also so for all the four corners you can define the end conditions and the bend length okay then comes the top bar so in the top bar again you can just specify what kind of reinforcement you are using fe500 or anything else so let's go for the top bar of the same dial like fe500 and 10 mm dia bar then the spacing is correct then if you want to specify the cover then you can simply specify the cover also okay so like this you can specify the cover and the end conditions okay so click on modify and then comes the attribute where you can write the prefix start number name and the class okay so this is how you can start using the slab bars and the code for it is 18 so either you can look for slab bars or you can simply search for 18 and it will give you the option of how to provide the slab reinforcement so guys we have learned how we can provide the reinforcement using the mesh bars mesh bars by area and by slab reinforcement now if you want to learn the more professional way of doing it then you have to simply stay tuned to this channel and we will make another way because we are going to do the complete detailing of a g plus one building in this series and if you want to be a consultant then you can simply find a link in the description you have to just go over there 
check the free webinar and register yourself for the free strategy call with us. Thank you.